Hi there, my name is Wadzi and I do a lot of dumb stuff in Minecraft. This is the story of how I went from this to probably the most turtles you've ever seen in Minecraft ever. Enjoy. Sometime previously in the Hardcore Minecraft series, I saved the pandas from extinction by forcefully breeding them until we had well over 100 pandas. So today I got a little inspired. As you all know, the biggest threat to our turtles is us humans. I mean, just look at what we did to this turtle's home. Disgusting. There is trash everywhere. So today I decided to save the turtles by restoring this beach and building a turtle farm and sanctuary so we could eventually breed over 100 turtles and save the turtles from extinction. But before we begin, if you're a part of the percentage of people who watch my videos and aren't subscribed and you do enjoy my content, please consider subscribing because it takes literally two seconds and you can always change your mind later on. And this video shout out is coming from Twitter. Thank you to this person, you're an absolute legend. G'day guys, my name is Wadzi and welcome back to Hardcore Minecraft. As always, before we can begin today, I gotta plant another 200 melons in the melon farm. I must say, this is getting much, much easier. We've definitely, we're hitting more of a flat piece of land now. Alright, and just like that, we've added our 200 melons to the melon farm for today. And I gotta say, this melon farm's actually starting to get, starting to get pretty big. Not bad, good choice. But if you want to see how big this farm ends up getting, make sure to subscribe. And now let's get into the rest of the video. So in the last episode, we were achievement hunting and we ended up uh, getting one of every type of cat. Now, I haven't managed to bring any of those cats home, but I think there's a couple I'm going to try, if I can, to bring back home right now. So right now is the mission to bring the cats back. So the reason I've decided to bring these two cats back... Wait, hang on. The reason I've decided to bring back these cats is because this cat here looks most like my cat in real life. Alright, and now the journey begins. We have to take these cats over the mountains, through rivers, whatever it takes to get these cats back home. And it's turning night time. Just what I wanted. Hey, now we get to see the power of the cats. No, 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 See? No, no, He's scared. What are you running from? Now I guess I'll cross this ocean. Ugh. Ah, no. Leave me alone. See you, creepers. See ya. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Yeah, you better run. Ah, we're almost home. We're almost home. We've made it. We've made the long journey home. And now there's only one more thing for us to do. So one of these cats has to be called Leo. For obvious reason. But now, for one of these other cats, I think we should see what you guys came up with. Alright, well looking at the comments, you guys have spoken. The highest comment I could see was this one. Melanie. That's right, Melanie. Not spelt how you would think it's spelt, but exactly how the comments said. They said, name one Melanie and make it protect the melon farm. So we're gonna do just that. Alright, here you are, Melanie. See? You see all these melons? You see all these melons, Melanie? They're yours. Protect them with your life, okay? Now, in the last episode, what we got up to is we actually completed the achievement where we bred all the animals. And one of those animals that we bred for the first time was turtles. And I actually wanted to see if I could go find some turtles and just create a turtle farm. So I'm going to fly out this way for a second. I just want to see what, like the closest place I can find turtles. All right, so we got the ocean all around here. Where the turtles at? Maybe it doesn't help that I was here ripping up all the sand. I've destroyed the turtles habitat. They've had to migrate elsewhere. Okay, no, but really, where are the turtles? <gasps> Wait, yes. We have found some turtles. Here's what we need to do. First of all, we need to rebuild their habitat because what, what is this? This is disgusting. <laughs> Mankind has gone too far. Look what they've done to this turtle's home. We need a, we need a help. Let's ignore the fact that I was the one that caused this in the first place and let's, let's fix up this turtle's home. Bit by bit, we're slowly getting there. We're slowly rebuilding. We're getting there. We're getting there slowly. Obviously, since we're not trying to have any detrimental impacts on the environment, we need to make sure we're replanting all the trees where we're cutting down. Two thousand years later. And would you look at that? We've fully restored this beach and the turtles have already returned back to their habitat. It's that easy, guys. Saving the world one turtle at a time. Now, let's see if we can't get this turtle population to increase. Wait, turtle, where are you going? Got one turtle here, another turtle here. 
There we are. Let's watch as the turtle lays its eggs. Wow, incredible, isn't it? Just one single turtle egg. It's only the beginning. This is the beginning of our journey to save the turtles. And as I waited for these first eggs to hatch, I started devising my plan on how I would eventually farm up well over 100 turtles. It happened. Oh my god, our very first baby turtle. Go, little buddy, go. This is so exciting. Look how tiny it is. It's ridiculous. Oh my gosh. That's incredible. Oh, that's more like it. Look at that. We've now got well, eight eggs. As much as I can just sit here and breed turtles all day, kind of want to make a farm out of it. So I'm going to head off and I'm going to get all the stuff I'm going to need to make some sort of turtle farm. I'm here to build myself my very own turtle farm. So it's going to be about this big. Oh, this will be a good area considering we have we already have some eggs in here. So if we can manage to build this quickly before those eggs hatch, we will already have quite a lot of turtles already trapped in our farm. So now we've built this pretty basic scoot farm. Um, we gotta wait for these eggs to hatch and then we would also have to wait for those turtles to grow up and we're gonna have to do a bit of uh, turtle breeding which is gonna be pretty time consuming but how it should work is this farm should allow for baby turtles to swim under here where they would then get stuck in here and then once they grow up, they will drop a scoot. The hoppers will collect them and put them in this chest here. And then the reason I've put these trap doors here is I'm hoping then I should be able to release the turtles as adults out here into the ocean, but we're just gonna have to see if that works or not. So, have you been drinking enough water today? Well, if not, this is a water checkpoint. The point in the video where we all pause the video, take a break, head to your kitchen, get yourself some water, and we all stay hydrated. Now, I'm serious, I'll wait. All right, so now that we all have our water, let's drink up together. Cheers. And one final thing, this water checkpoint is sponsored by... Just, just the like button. Just press the like button. That's all you gotta do. Alright, I think I should make an effort to get more of these turtles in this pit. I guess turtles aren't that good at jumping up blocks. Yes! Alright, you two breed. We need more eggs in this. Just put, no, stop, stop, go, 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 yes, yes, finally, good turtle, yes. Now, we finally had all our turtles captured in this breeding chamber, and all that was left for us to do was to just wait for some eggs to hatch. So in the meantime, while I was waiting, I decided to build something else. Now we've got that area, we now need to build it underwater all the way around. Wait, I just heard something. Yes, 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 they're finally hatching. This is great news. Oh my gosh. All right, yeah, you know what? Let's let the scoop farm happen. So now these babies, there we go. The baby should swim down. Just give them a little helping hand. They get stuck down here. Once this turtle grows up, we'll get a scoot and hopefully we can then let our turtles free. All right, well now we've got our turtle farm, we've got our, our area for our turtles. Now it's just a matter of just waiting, just waiting for these things to grow up, more eggs to hatch, breeding more turtles. In fact, we can do that right now. And then eventually over time, we can start having quite a large population of turtles. And that'll be good to see. Oh, wait, oh my god, wait a minute. What is this? I had no idea diamond armor zombies existed. I have some exciting news. Our first generation of turtles have finished. So now I'm going to try my best and see if I can let them free. It works. Oh, it works so well. 
Perfect. So now these turtles out here, free to live a happy life. They've got heaps of area to swim. They can still breed and everything. And these turtles will forever live in captivity and continue to breed, lay eggs for all the future turtle generation. But something I've got now, I've got 10 scoots, which I have never really had before. I'm pretty sure you can make helmets out of this stuff, right? Yes. Is that all you can make out of scoots? I think you can also use them for potions, but hey, let's make a helmet. Why not? Let's see. Yeah! That's kind of cool. Now we got a water breathing helmet. We breathe underwater for a hell of a lot longer. But yeah, from now on, I'm just going to continue breeding turtles, waiting for eggs to hatch, letting them out, and eventually we should have a lot of turtles. That's the plan. <laughs> So I've actually spent a lot of hours just AFK in this turtle farm while I've been editing this video and doing other things all day. And the amount of turtles we end up getting, it's... It's kind of ridiculous. Routinely, I would check to let out new turtles as well as breed turtles to lay more eggs. There isn't really much more to it. So because of that, I didn't really record all too much, but here's what I did record. We must carry on breeding. I've discovered an issue where majority of these turtles aren't managing to get in here or they just don't want to but our turtle population is definitely growing we just got to find a way to probably release some of these turtles back out into there hey look let's release another come on there we go get out of there you sucker this system works well though i like it quite a lot as you can see out here we've got a fair few turtles swimming around as well they seem they seem happy i'd say we're probably we've probably got about like 30 ish turtles it really will not be long before we have 100 turtles Nick minute Despite having this beach here, whenever I breed the turtles in here, they are still very adamant on coming in here to lay their eggs. So I think I'm going to change how this system works. Now left this gap open enough for large turtles to get through as well. That way I can just breed whatever turtles are out here. They'll make their way in here. I'll just constantly let them out. We've currently got 45 scoots. That means we've at least got 45 turtles here, but I feel like we've got a lot more. I feel like we've got a lot more than that. All right, the home stretch. Just a few more hours of waiting for turtles to hatch and breed, and we got what is now our final result. The process wasn't all too interesting, but believe me when I say the amount of turtles we end up with in the end is insane. Just a quick reminder to you all of where we started off our mission today. We started on this small destroyed beach with only one very sad turtle living on it. And through our hard work in conservation today, this is what we've managed to achieve. All right, all right, I'm done. I've done so much turtle breeding, it's actually ridiculous. So this is, this is it. This is the final amount, no more. All right, to start things off, this is how many turtles we currently have in our breeding chamber. Not too bad. There's a few, you know what? We might have about... 15 or so and oh gosh, this is gonna this is gonna annoy me. Why am I doing this at night while it's raining? Now we move on to down here all our turtles in the in the waiting the hatching chamber You may say we got a few down here as well. Maybe 10 maybe more There's a lot of little babies down there as well. Let's have a look at our scoots. How many scoots have we got so far? What's that almost five stacks every scoot has to be one turtle that's come through this this farm so about 300 turtles behind me right now but also keep in mind there are a lot of turtles that would have grown up in this area which i never collected the scoots for so yeah i'm about to turn around and you're about to see what i'm guessing is about 400 turtles or more here we go what is this this is ridiculous let me just swim through here this is crazy this is actually unbelievable of all the stupid things i've done with animals getting 100 dogs, 100 villagers, 100 pandas. This is by far the coolest result we've got. This is crazy. There's so many turtles. And you know what? I think you could say I did a pretty damn good job at saving the turtles. Thank you so much for watching this video right until the end. If you enjoyed, please consider leaving a like and also subscribing if you haven't already. It helps out so much. Also, leave a comment down below and the top comment will get one of these many turtles named after them in the next episode. Also, final reminder to check out all the links below to follow my other social medias and with that i'll catch you in the next video cheers what was that you've just finished watching the video and you don't know what to watch anymore well why not head over to my second channel wad tui where i post wacky vlogs and stuff and awesome videos uh yeah i'm i'm just self-promoting that's all hope you enjoyed the video